Hello YouTube. Today I just wanted to do another cycling product review for you guys and I'll be doing it on two pairs of uh, cycling sunglasses um, one of which I've ridden for uh, about the past year and uh, those are the Cavallo Luganos and the second set I just picked up last week actually and uh, those are the popular Oakley Jawbones. Okay so we'll start here with the Cavallo Luganos um, put everything back in the original boxes for you guys so you can kind of just see how the products come. Um, so the Cavallos actually came with a hard case, which is really nice. Um, I uh, ended up uh, picking these up off Nashbar.com. I think their uh, listed retail on them was like $80, but they had them on sale for $35. Um, and I just checked before this video, and they are still on sale for $35. So. In a year, um, they've uh, stayed at a great low price. So um, I'll just uh, open this up here and show you guys. Um, it does come in, they do come in two colors. Um, I went with the white, they come with the black frames as well. Um, I think they're uh, pretty good looking sunglasses for uh, the price that uh, I paid. Um, they've got the rubber here on the, the earpiece, earpieces, as uh, well as uh, the rubber, uh, the nose piece. Um, inside the uh, hard case, it also came with a microfiber cleaning rag, came with a uh, clear lens that you can change out, and it came with the high vis yellow lenses as well. So um, it's been re really nice to have uh, that selection. Um, before I uh, started using these sunglasses, um, I was using just a pair of Quicksilver Lifestyle sunglasses when cycling and the top of the frame would always fall right in my line of vision and the sides uh, lenses had a pretty poor uh, peripheral. So um, I ended up switching to these and I've been using these like I said for about the past year um, and they have been great sunglasses, I don't have too many complaints about them. Um, they're lightweight, the uh, um, frames are uh, made out of a kind of a nylon um, so they're real flexible. Um, and I'll just show you real quick how easy it is to change the lenses out. It is uh, really easy to change the lenses out of these. Uh, you just put uh, one uh, finger between the, the nose pieces and grab the uh, lens with the other and kind of bend out with this hand that's in between the nose pieces and just kind of pull down with the fingers on the lens. So I just pop out like that and uh, to get them back in you just kind of slide up the one side of the notch and then you just pop them back on the inside. So um, really easy to change the lenses out. Um, and uh, they've been they've been pretty good sunglasses. The uh, two complaints that I've kind of had about them is uh, they do fit a little snug. Um, they cause not enough pressure to give me have to give me headaches, but kind of a little bit of sore pressure behind uh, behind my ears um, uh, while riding over long distances. Um, and they do tend, if it's humid, to fog a little bit. Um, mostly on uh, just these inside corners next to the the uh, nose piece so they don't completely uh, fog out your visibility but um, it is uh, it is a little frustrating and uh, it was kind of because of those um, things that I uh, um, ended up switching over to uh, and investing some money in the the Oakley Jawbones so uh, um, <clears throat> real quick before I switch over to the Jawbones I will show you um, the sunglasses on my face as well as with my helmet and kind of show you the, the clearance that they have around the straps and the helmet mechanism so okay so these are the Cavallo Luganos on my face um, they uh, like I said they fit a little snug in the back but um, because of that you don't have any fear of them falling off so so that's good um, this just give you guys kind of a brief idea of, uh, of what they look like and uh, I'll uh, put my helmet on with them here real quick for you guys as well. Okay, so this is them on with the helmet. Um, they have really good clearance, the straps on the side, and they bend down back here enough to stay out of the way of the, the mechanism of the helmet, so uh, that's been really nice. Um, so they do fit well with the cycling helmet, um, aside from the uh, fogging in the corners and the fact that there is a little bit of unwanted pressure back here after a long period of time. Um, they're pretty good glasses, excellent I'd say for a price of $35.
Okay, so these are the uh, Oakley Jawbones. I actually custom ordered these um, through Sunstop. And uh, I just uh, got them uh, just over a week ago. So let me pull these out of the box and show these to you guys. Um, so with the uh, custom order on these, uh, through their website, I know it is, uh, two, they're $230. Um, I got them for 210 through Sunstop because they cut me a little bit of a deal. Um, so in the box, uh, they come with the uh, the uh, Oakley hard case. Um, they've got some random paperwork and uh, two extra nose pieces. Um, so inside the case comes with the uh, soft. Um, Oakley, uh, Oakley, uh, Oakley bag with the, uh, the jawbone, um, art, uh, on the bag, so that's pretty cool. Um, in the bag as well, it has the, uh, the main pocket for the glasses, and then it has, uh, two additional pockets for extra lenses that you can slide in there, so it keeps them separated if you want to carry the lenses in just a soft cloth bag. Um, so... Um, that's pretty nifty, um, and it comes with the, uh, the glasses, and uh, you get an additional uh, pair of lenses, and uh, when I custom ordered these, I picked the uh, black iridium, and uh, I picked the uh, G30 lens as well for uh, low light conditions. So. Um, just talk about these real quick, show them to you guys. Uh, I know there's quite a few uh, reviews out there already on the Jawbones, so uh, I'll be uh, be fairly brief. So I uh, love these glasses. They look uh, fierce <laughs> um, for sunglasses, they, and they fit excellently. They've got excellent clearance on the side for straps and the, the mechanisms on the helmet. Um, they hold to your face really well. Oakley uh, has their special um, uh, unobtainium uh, ear socks that uh, tend to uh, kind of stick to your uh, skin and your hair when uh, when, you, when you're sweating, which is a little bit gross, but it's super functional. So it does they don't slip at all. But um, and as well, it has the same unobtainium. I think I'm saying that right um, here on the. Uh, the nose pieces. So they hold really firmly to your face, uh, which is great. Um, I did pick the vented lenses um, to uh, help uh, decrease uh, fogging. And I just wanted to talk about that real quick because actually I went out today riding and it was pouring rain. And uh, I stopped for a second and because of the humidity, my lenses both immediately fogged up. So I was kind of uh, a little bummed um, that they were going to stay fogged, but as soon as I got on back on my bike and started pedaling, um, the air flowing through those vents cleared the lenses up within 20 feet. It was pretty amazing. So they do uh, keep your the the lenses unfogged. They, they're I, I was surprised. They, they work really really well. Um, so when when I did custom order these, I went with the the white ear socks, the white the team white logo, polished white jaw. Um, with the, the matte black um, through bolt and the matte black mainframe. So I thought they looked uh, looked pretty cool. Um, so I know there's tons of videos out there that show how to swap the lenses on Jawbones. It's super easy. Um, so, but I'll just show you guys again real quick. Um, on the back here, you just uh, grab the nose piece, pull it down, and the jaw flips up lens comes out so lens goes back in just as easy just line it up with the, if I can line it up with the tracks okay so just go back in like that jaw comes down um, nose piece snaps back up and uh, lens is back in so really 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 functional um, one other thing I want to talk about on these is the visibility I was a little bit worried about getting the jaw bones um, because of the uh, the bottom bar here, um, whereas I'd been riding the Cavallos for a year, didn't have uh, any frame on the bottom. They were just lenses, so 
uh, I knew that those had really good visibility. But these have excellent visibility. I think they do come up a little higher on the top than the Cavallos, so a little bit better visibility here. Um, they have really wide lenses, so good visibility on the sides. And the bottoms actually haven't bugged me at all, so um, they are excellent sunglasses. Um, the only downside to them is they're a little pricey. Um, but so far, after today, uh, and they just defogged themselves within 20 feet, I thought that was excellent, and it was totally worth it. So <laughs> um, um, they do work really, really well. So like uh, I did with the Cavallos, I'll show you them on real quick, and then, uh, then with my helmet, and then I'll just wrap up. Okay, so these are the Oakley Jawbones on my face. Um, I really, really like the look of them. I think the kind of exaggerated angles on them make them, them look really uh, like a really serious sunglass um, and uh, they're, they're fun to wear. Um, the clearance on the side, like I said, it's really good. Um, it's not too much pressure in the back, they're very, very comfortable um, and they hold, uh, hold really well to your face because of the um, unobtainium um, that they've uh, put on the nose piece and, the, and on the ear socks. Um, real quick, I'm just going to put, put my helmet on with them and show you guys that as well. Okay, so here they are with the helmet. Um, like I said, they do have really good clearance on the side for the straps, um, as well as uh, the plastic mechanisms that come down the helmet to secure it on the back of your head. Um, they don't interfere with that either. Um, I have worn some more lifestyle sunglasses uh, with the helmet that does have an interference problem back there, so it's really nice um, that the sunglasses are able to stay on good and secure uh, with the helmet on. Um, so that's what they look like. Um, like I said, I've only had it for just over a week now, but I've been really, really pleased um, with them so far. Okay, well, thank you guys for uh, watching my video, supporting my channel. Um, so uh, let me know if, in the comments down below if you guys have any questions. Feel free to message me, and uh, I'll try to get back with you quickly. Thank you.